everybody, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be here. It is my first day back in Colorado after three weeks on vacation. <laughs> and one of the most exciting things about coming back is all your happy mail is like in one day. <laughs> So I have a whole bunch of stuff here. I have um, some happy mail from a person on Facebook on the buy sell trade for Simply Gilded I believe. And then I have three orders here from Rose Color Days just planning around. Station stickers, two orders from Simply Gilded which are smaller orders I'm expecting more. And then a giant order from Erin Condren which I will get to last. <laughs> okay, so first of all, this is adorable happy mail from um, another planner friend in Colorado, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a sample of the thicker 15 millimeter white with silver bow washi tape, but look at this, how she packaged this. It's foiled, like, night sky washi with a wax seal with a star on it, and it's like marbly blue and purple. It's so cute, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, how sweet. So let's see. There was like this whole like um, random act of kindness and paying it forward kind of thing happening on pen gems and then simply gilded and stuff like that. So I think that's what this is. So this is a cute little unicorn card. Yes, look, it's my swashy. So pretty. She's got another little star. And a little yay character. Oh my gosh. Enjoy your unicorn. I gave you 60 inches so you can use and save from Fawn. Thank you so much. That is so precious. I really hope I can fulfill somebody else's washi dreams also and pay it forward. Um, so thank you so much. I missed out on the um, bigger one because Tamara and I split um, the package, like the set that these came in, but some of them I do like the 15s and that was one that I was like, I think I want the 15. So <laughs> thank you so much. So she just sent this to me. I didn't order it. Like she just was fulfilling a washi dream. So thank you so much. And then continuing on the washi train here. Um, this is my planner sophisticate order. And she did this with release and I just got this first because I was like, this is the one thing I really, really want. Um, so I ordered it separately and, oh, I guess I had some stickers in my cart too, it looks like, but I, I didn't monkey around on the website. I'm sorry, Juniper, because I didn't want to miss out. It turns out there were plenty, but... Better to be safe than sorry sometimes. So first of all, you get this journaling card. It says I'm all about positive vibes. It has, it's light pink with gold foil. I love the shape of that bow. It says the planner sophisticate times simply gilded. And so I'm assuming Josenia, um wrote that script. And then these are, what are these? Um, neutral rose gold bow foil seals and then I got the tropical ones with gold foil so there are all of them I often use these to seal envelopes but I'll also put them in my planner um, especially like on the name page and stuff like that they're just so cute so there are the freebies oh one more freebie <laughs> um, so I got a hot pink I think it's the same as the tropical one so a hot pink with gold foil love 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 and then this is the box for the planner sophisticate um washi collection with simply gilded definitely like a favorite pairing <laughs> i love both of them if you guys don't know who jesenia is i will link her channel um because you need to know who jesenia is if you're a planner girl or boy okay so here is her collab and let me zoom in so we have a pink with a heart and on the heart is a small tiny little bow it's very like scripty very cute great shade of pink it's just sort of a medium pink um and then we have a floral it looks like it's the floral that's on this box um with a gold bow very pretty you know i'll use those and then this one has like pens like pen gems and washi tape and bows um I think that's it pens washi bows 
Um, oh yeah, that's washi. I was like, what is that? But it's where the edge of the tape is. So there's patterns mixing together. Super pretty. Again, very nice pink. Not sure how much I'll use it, but it's really pretty to kind of round out the collection. And then this is definitely my favorite. It's Harry Potter inspired. So it has a wand with a bow and it says wise. Um, I think that one's the, oh yeah, brave, ambitious, loyal. So one word for each house and it's a soft gray with a gold foil. So again, this was the set I really wanted. So I ordered it separately um, and I'm really, really excited to have it. So I got those four plus the stickers and then my other order from Simply Gilded. So I ordered um, the patriotic stickers, the bow stickers. She wrote a note that said that they're out of stock and I was refunded my money for just that sticker sheet, um, which is not a huge deal. And then I ordered um, the candy colored bows, which are in here, the stickers, um, cloudy confetti washi, pink butterfly with rose gold washi and then this is the free journaling card i love this this is so pretty um it says be leaf in yourself <laughs> like leaf palm leaf i love the rainbow gradient and this is kind of the theme for the next box um it's like very tropical and then like cheetah so super fun and then let's open this up again i'm sorry juniper I just don't have the patience to take them off and like save them. <laughs> Apologize if that kills you. So we have the pink butterfly with rose gold. I got the purple butterfly in the pre-sale and then I was like, mm, I think I want the pink one more. <laughs> so I ordered the pink one. And then this is the cloudy confetti and it has the hollow um, sparkles. I'm pretty sure I don't own this one already. I think I skipped it the first time. But then since I wanted the pink bows, I went ahead and picked this one up in the same order. We got a green with gold. I think this is from the tropical selection or collection. And then this is my second order of the candy colored bows because you all know those are my favorite they have hollow foil they are stunning and I couldn't get myself to use them because I only had one set so I ordered a second set <laughs> so that is everything from simply gilded so I have those six washies and don't you worry many more to come this order is from station stickers and this is going to be a beauty and the beast themed kit it is so pretty and hand-drawn and everything else. So it says, thanks for supporting our family-run sticker shop. We would love to see a haul, photo, or video. Tag us or use station stickers, hashtag station stickers on Instagram. Questions or concerns, there's an email. Um, and this, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. So I picked this up the day it released because I couldn't help myself. It's everything. So first of all, you got this exclusive Coffee Monsters Co. Um, freebie. I love Coffee Monsters Co. They have little crowns on them. Um, there's working at the computer and then there's just sort of like happy um, little guy there. And it's like two big and two smaller ones of the same two characters. So cute and facing different directions, which is also cute. And then um, the kit comes with these foil icons so there's the blue and this like yellowy color with um i'm not sure if it's light gold i'm gonna guess light gold foil it doesn't look yellow enough to be like just true gold but i can't remember for sure so you just get a selection of her icons which is really nice and they're foiled and they match so super helpful and then um this is just like cardstock so let me move that this is the kit look at all that foil so pretty. So you have Belle's dress, you have a castle, you have Belle reading, a tea set, which is so lovely. Um, the rose, you have books, yes. <laughs> this little like powder room kind of scene. And then you have the candelabra with the mirror and then washi strip up at the top. It is stunning. And I got this on her matte paper. She offers matte and glossy. I tend to prefer matte. These are the um, check boxes and then you get more like thinner washi at the top. You get glitter headers, um, half boxes, check box, labels, flags for scheduled canceled. This is the same as her, all, you know, all her kits are kind of the same. Um, headers, boxes, habit trackers, movie marquee weekend banner, and little icons and things like that. 
we have little things. Uh, very simple blue date covers and then you have the numbers that are in kind of a repeating pattern and two glitter flags. I love that chunky gold glitter. Ooh, you have sparkly washi. So it's foiled. It kind of reminds me of denim a little bit. And then you have other washi strips. And again, that, that washi is foiled. So it's glittery goodness. You guys, look at these. Oh my gosh. It's okay. I got cut off, but um, I think I was just saying that this is super beautiful. I love it. I love that she's going to be making more um, hand-drawn things with the princesses, and I look forward to seeing what she comes up with next. I really hope it's Jasmine, but Cinderella would be cool too. I think those were the two we voted between, but I'm down for either. <laughs> um, so this is the Beauty and the Beast. I don't know if it's still available. I apologize if it's not, but... Maybe she'll bring it back. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so then I have two more orders before my Erin Condren. This one is from Just Planning Around. I didn't pick up too much, but um, I did pick up something. <laughs> so I've never ordered from this shop before, but I was searching for an August kit, and I was going back and forth between quite a few. Um, I was surprised because August doesn't really have anything like unique about it but I found quite a few kits that I thought were really pretty um but I made up my mind <laughs> so there is a little reward card um you get two free sheets with your next order after five orders and then here is the June sampler so we have an ATM um like a coffee drink or cold drink uh piggy bank box and then some bunnies and a manicure and then this is the little the little sticker that goes here so there's order number one. <laughs> and then, like I said, I got the August um, monthly kit for the Erin Condren. And it is very bright and colorful. It's similar to, I think, my June, yeah, my June monthly kit. I'll link that up here with the stripes and the florals. But I can never really get enough of stripe and floral. And I love yellow and pink. So even though it's similar to my June, I went with it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the top bars, which again are striped and floral, um, and then you have the date numbers, which are circles, um, and then you have some washi strips. There is this gorgeous floral, um, like washi section, and then some full boxes, a matching one, and then this like scroll pattern, which is cute. You get a bunch of paydays, some day offs, and some blank flags, and then you get these um, larger bill dues, some appointment labels, and then... I guess like labels or washi strips kind of things, just some blocked coloring. Um, and then you get these sidebar, which have like a pink lace pattern and this really interesting little like floral kind of, I don't know, like daisy sunflower motif here. And then you have room for headers. You have two kind of label boxes and then you get six more decorative boxes, which is crazy. But I really liked this idea because again, August doesn't have a ton going on. Like there aren't a lot of holidays and things. So you might not have as much to mark because it's sort of like either ending summer or starting back at school in my case. So it's just like, we just get back into the routine. I'm not going on vacation or anything. Um, so I like that there's a lot of deco boxes in this one you could write in really easily. And then you get tons of quarter boxes and these larger boxes, labels, headers that you could put over those other um, checklist things, some icons, some like cutout things. You have four planners and then these two canceled labels. And the font is really cute. I think it's really adorable. Um, I like that it had the sunflowers, which is, you know, kind of one of those summer things and it's not too sunflowery for me though. <laughs> Some of them are like all yellow and brown and I'm not a fan. I like yellow, but brown is not my favorite. So um, yeah, this was really cute. And it's from Just Planning Around. And then I have an order from Rose Colored Days. I don't remember what I ordered though. So, oh, well, these must be the monthlies. I literally forgot. Okay. These are the monthly foil colors, so, um, yeah, I didn't get all of them. I was proud of myself. <laughs> I was like, okay, limit yourself on this one. Um, two of the colors are already available in her shop, so only one of the colors was new, and I figured I could live. So I have this Adventure Awaits card, which I will probably put in some happy mail because I bought the set of these so I already have this one um, but it's super beautiful or I'll use one and then 
not have to use the other one. <laughs> um, I got a sampler freebie. This is in hollow foil, which is so cute. I love these. I use them all the time. And then you got a bow if you put um, a note. This was for her shop opening. So if you put a note in the just like when you checked out and told her what foil color you wanted, she would make you this little bow. So I told her pink. So I got pink. And then I said Nikki sampler and I got this in pink also, which is super cool because this is probably the foil color I use more than anything. So that's blurry. There we go. I love the pink foil that she has, so that was super cool. And then, like I said, she had these monthly colors, so, um, oh no, these are the, okay, she had two releases. This is the hollow header overlays, so they are clear stickers the size of headers, and they have a pattern on them that you can overlay either just onto, like, the color on the Erin Condren or the Happy Planner, no, the recollections planner or you could put them over another header or whatever um you could use them as dividers so this is a set and I don't remember what this one's called it's just like a confetti dot really pretty and cleverly she put a sticker on the back to tell you what they are um and then oh so that was oh they all just say hollow header overlays okay this one has like a star pattern on it I'm surprised how well you can see these they're on white paper right now, but they're clear, like I said. And then this one is like the shattered effect. Ooh, that's trippy. <laughs> so these are really cool. Um, again, this was the hollow header overlay, and you've got all three sets of these. No, never mind. You ordered them separately. Shattered glass stars, and the other one was called glitter. So there's that. <laughs> I'm just messing up all over the place. And then the only thing that I got from the monthly color sample, or like the choices you could get, um, clear dot headers, you could get scripts, and then you could get the sampler. So I just picked up the samplers. Um, and again, two of these colors are already in her collection. So this is the pink. So pretty. And again, this is just a sampler. Get a little bit of everything. This is the new color. This is the blue. Oh my gosh, this is actually really pretty. Ugh. Maybe I should have gotten the other things. It is a true like pool blue color. Like you think of a picture of a pool and how blue it is, like aqua -y color. It's kind of like the, um, that Simply Gilded packaging or the Erin Condren packaging I have. And there you go. And then the other one is silver. So it's a great little combo here. I love it. Love, love, love. This is really fun. So pink and silver I already own. This is the new color for me. But I figured who doesn't need a stock up of some of their favorite colors. So that's what I got from Rose Color Days. Let me know what you guys got with that release because I know some of you guys got stuff on that release. Let me know what you picked up. And lastly, we have my Erin Condren order. I am... You're looking at the inside of the box because the top has my address on it. So as always, you get um, some freebies. So this is an enjoy sticker. And then this is a postcard. It says whatever you are. Be a good one. There's the back. You can mail it on out. And then this is the tissue paper in that same blue color. Oops, I guess we're going around the sticker today. Um... So I had my coupon code from my 10th order, I think. It's $50 off, so, um, you know, that's quite a bit off. So, and then I think I had accessories, which were on sale or something. I can't quite remember how I got all this, but I did not pay full price for all of this. So um, here's the first look, but let me pull out all this stuff and move the box out of the way. Um, I don't see an invoice offhand. I'm not sure if we're going to get to one or not, but I should know what some of this is. It's mostly labeled. So first thing is I like these well-kept wipes. And since I was placing an order, I figured I would just pick these up anyways. So they're for screen cleaning or like cleaning your glasses or whatever. They're slightly damp, um, but not soaking wet. And they clean really nicely. So I got two packages of those and I can take one to work. And then I have gift labels. Did I order these? I think these might have been a freebie. I don't know that I would have ordered gift labels. <laughs> um, so we have apples, the watercolor apples, which is actually... I got 
cut off again. As I was saying, I don't normally like apple patterns even though I'm a teacher. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to. Um, but I really like this watercolor apple. It's pretty cute. Um, this one is like colored pencil kind of things. This is the like school scribbled drawing kind of pattern. Like I said, I think these were a freebie. And then here's another pencil one. I think they're facing the opposite way so that they're pretty in the package no matter which side you're looking at. <laughs> so like this, they're cute either way. So that's really awesome. I don't know what I'll use these all for, but I'm sure I'll find a use. Um, next I bought the color for, color, color for, Colorful Circles sticker pack, the colorful and metallic sticker sheets. And I believe these are see-through if they're not I'm gonna be real sad but yeah like see here I want to use them on this kind of spread to put my school calendar so I believe they're mostly trans oh yeah translu translucent um so I'm excited to try these I never really use those pages in my planner so I'm excited to try it out for the first time so let's see here are kind of like all the pink colors. These are really shiny. I apologize. Oh, okay. They're on white paper. That's why they looked opaque. <laughs> um, so yes, they are definitely translucent. Some of the colors are much darker, but still translucent. And then here are all of the blue and green colors. Oh, and then the metallics are, um, here, let me grab that white. The metallics are rings. So you can go around because obviously the metallic wouldn't be translucent. So you have gold, silver, and like a rose gold or a bronze. And you get tons of these, which I'm excited about. So very, very great purchase. I'm looking forward to trying these out. Um, next, I think this is another freebie. Maybe I bought this. I think I bought this. Um, this is the A Plus style sticker pad. And you get clear, colorful stickers. There's 16 pages. And this is, of course, kind of teachery themed. So I won't go through every page, but I'll kind of flip. So you have some labels with rose gold, gold, um, rose gold. There's like meeting stickers in there. These are really nice. Little like lined page looking ones. Um, some sort of like clipboard style and paper with paper clips. Some quotes in silver like longer quote strips, it looks like. You can turn that. Gold foil. Um, these are clear stickers because they're on this different paper. And there's like these layered teardrops. The apples are really cute. Little circles. Um, some like date header and half circle. I mean, they're full circles, but they're half metallic. Some little icons. These are in rose gold, and I think those are clear paper. And then you get letters. I believe these are all clear paper as well. These are on white paper and these are rose gold capital letters and numbers and things like that. Um, oh, and then is this a sticker page? This very front one? Oh, it is. Okay, it was just stuck to the cover. I'm like, wait, what are all these cute things? <laughs> so there's time to prep, some little rulers, stationary things, time to grade, no school. Really adorable. Thank you, Erin Condren, for thinking about us teachers. I appreciate it. Okay, so then next I got some covers. So this is a custom colorway of the peacock feathers with like a cream or a white or something in the background. I think it's just white. Um, and I got Laura Michelle. Very pretty. Some of them look really great with the darker color too, but I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. And then this is a custom colorway of the palms. I can't remember. I didn't change the green color. I only changed the background. Um, I can't remember if I got Harbor or what I got in the background of this one, but it's kind of like a light creamy grayish -ish 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 whitish color. I don't know. <laughs> um, but that's that one. And then I, here are my actual like big things. The first is my... Um, deluxe monthly planner and I got this like camo colored and then I did a custom for the you can change the color of this creamy part it comes with like the cherry blossom color but I didn't want pink I wanted just kind of neutral um, so this is really fun something kind of different and like I said this is the deluxe monthly planner let me see if I can lift up a little bit 
Okay, so we have the dashboard on the cover, and of course these are uh, removable. I get the silver coil just because I don't need anything fancy for this, and it's a budget planner, so why would I be spending extra money if I'm budgeting? <laughs> um, and I got the colorful, which is different for me because my normal planner is neutral, but because I'm not going to decorate this up with tons of stickers, I thought it would be more fun to have the colorful. So you have a quote page, you have these where you can put those clear um, date covers. You have your goal page. It's very similar to a regular planner. Um, you have a note page, a quote page, your two page monthly spread with a sidebar and a look forward calendar on there. This is dated and it does have tabs. Um, apparently the last one did not, but I didn't get the last one. And then after the month you get two, um, lined note pages, sorry, four lined note pages five lined note page. Oh no, five, four, because this would be the start of the next month because it's purple. And you could get these to start in any month. So I had mine start in August because if I'm going to use this as a budget, my paychecks go from August to July, like as a single salary. So that makes the most sense. So they just continue, you know, all the different colors as Erin Condren does. <laughs> And then it's just the monthly pages, like I said, and then the note pages. And then you have more note pages at the back. You could add more to this, but I only did the standard like 40 pages or whatever it is. I didn't need to have a, another notebook. I have another one from previous years that I'm not even close to filling, so I decided I didn't need more. <laughs> and then here are some label stickers that you get with the planner. And then, of course, you have your foiled little pockets here. I don't like this little one. I wish you would go back to two of the same. And then this is the back cover. So that is my deluxe monthly planner. Very, very fun. And then let me just get this down here. Okay. So then my next thing I got is a teacher planner. And I have not had an Erin Condren teacher planner before. I'm covering up my name and school information because that is not something you need to know. <laughs> um, it does have a ruler. This looks a little dinged up and then don't forget to remove the film. But like I said, um, the Apple watercolor pattern is actually really cute. And because this is a bigger planner, um, you can't exchange with like your normal size seven by nine. This is an eight and a half by 11, I think, um, or 10. And so I just wanted a cover that I was going to be happy with. So I think I don't even know if I changed the background color. I think I left it the same and it's the watercolor apples. And then, like I said, I personalized it. Um, this is the dashboard. I don't know if I'll even be able to get this all in frame. I will do my best. This is from my light. I apologize. This line. So it says teacher planner. And again, this is colorful because it only comes in one option. Um, this is all about me and like your classroom, classroom resources, web resources and passwords, which will be helpful because they're always changing. <laughs> um, name and contact information, dates and events. I won't use a lot of these. This I will use, the communication log. I can keep track of um, parents I contact because we are required to make certain phone calls every month. Um, again, we have the overview calendar. So it starts in July of 2018 and ends in December of 2019, which is perfect. This is weird to me. Um, because this planner goes from July through June of the next year, but these pages start January. So you would be doing like this page first and then this page. So I might relabel this because it's weird to me. Like, why would I do this page then this page? Like, there's only one option for the months for the teacher planner. Why would you put this in here this way? I don't know. Um, and then you have some graph paper, which I don't know if I'll use or not. But you can do seating charts like on the computer, so I don't need to know. I don't, don't necessarily need to do that. And then you have line paper. Then you have the start of July. So each month has a lined piece of paper, which because this is a bigger planner, that's actually pretty gigantic. More lines over here and then dates to remember, which of course you could put another header over. And these just have asterisks there. Then you have your dated monthly calendar. Um, similar to the deluxe monthly planner, it has a look forward month and stuff like that. Holidays, moon phases, it's dated, like I said, the usual. Then you have the lesson planner setup. So you can put your classes across the top. You have Monday through Friday 
down the side and then you can write your lessons in and they're color coordinated so they ombre here and then they change you know as you change to the next so if I change to September they change to purple um, and this side over here is just a blank column um, of you know lined stuff so you can write meetings or notes or whatever your to-do list whatever you might need and then those and they're dated apparently last year they were not dated and then at the end of the month you have two more note pages and then it switches to the next color so again that was July I probably won't need that at all um, my school starts in August September is purple October orange November is this like teal color you can see where it changes December is the lime green January is teal also, February pink, March is green, April is purple, May is peach, June is like a grassy green, and then, let's see, and then it has a note page for, page, a note pages for the next July, but that's it. And then this is student checklist, so you could put assignments here, put your names down the line. It, you can fold it so you can not have to write the names all the time. I do my grades on the computer, so I will not be using these, um, I don't think, unless I walk around and check something, which is not very often that I do that, um, and actually like write it down. So I just got the standard number pages of those because, like I said, I probably won't use them. You can increase the number of those pages. This is a quote page. This is a sticker page with foil. Another sticker page with foil. These are a little bit more fun. Um, another sticker page with foil. These are similar to that sticker, this sticker book that I just showed you. So I just get more of the same, which is fun. Then you get a ton of labels in some matching colors. Then you have a folder this pocket and then you could add um, a certain number of um, sheet protectors these are really thick I did not expect this so normally I think you just get one I opted to add three because I keep everything in sheet protectors so I figured if anything I was gonna add I wanted sheet protectors and then the back cover so that my storage keeps screaming at me and kicking me off. So <laughs> one more item and then I'm going to end this haul because I apparently don't have enough storage to keep going. But I also don't have anything else to show you. So one more thing. <laughs> this is the metallic um, rose gold schedule pad. It is 52 pages and it is 9.75 by 10 inches. It is foiled. It is pretty. It is a splurge item. You definitely don't need this. <laughs> So, well, I guess it depends what you use it for. You don't need it for my purpose. So it has this lovely metallic, the painted petals design. I actually preferred the floral version of this better, but I like the setup of this one better. And because it's supposed to be functional, I went with the setup versus the pretty. But it's actually quite pretty. It's gray with um, rose gold petals. I don't mind it. Um, so it's a scheduling pad. So it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend. It has a spot to write the date if you wanted and then lines to write in what's going on. And then it has a list section and you can, um, it's perforated. I don't know if you can see, I think you can see right there. It's perforated so you can tear that off. So if you were done with the scheduling part, you could just keep your to-do list. Or if you were done with your to-do list, you could keep your notes or whatever you want to do but I'm going to use this as my new pre-planning pad because the Monday through Sunday um paper pad that I was using I ran out of paper on and I had just gotten that one at the Target dollar spot I think it was like three dollars so this is a definite like splurgy upgrade <laughs> um but because I had that coupon and I think there was another coupon for accessories like 25% off accessories or if you bought four, whatever it was. So um, I ended up getting this. I think this is what qualified. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so it is just a simple notepad. There's 52 pages, so just one per week for the whole year. And I think it works great. You can write out things ahead of time and before you transfer them into your planner and make it all pretty and stuff like that. Obviously, you don't even need a planner. You could literally just use this and keep it week by week. But your planner 
the way I do my planner is ending up as more of like a memory thing. So I use it for functional planning at the time, but then I save my planner and it's all pretty and everything and I can look back on my weeks and my memories, whereas this is something that I will just throw out each page every week. But I think it's a great setup and I like that it has a to-do list so you could write out your plans and then you could write out things you need to get done and then you could transfer them to like figure out what day you should do them or um, just keep a running to-do list, you know, before you maybe know what day you're doing anything. Just this is everything that has to happen or this is things I need to do and things like that. So I think it's super beautiful. It's a little bit big, but um, I think it will work for my purposes. So there you go. I will be doing a budget planner setup and a teacher planner setup, I'm sure. Um, so stay tuned for those videos. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you for being here for this very long haul. It is part one of my post <laughs> <laughs> um, vacation haul, I guess. Um, but I know you guys like hauls, so hopefully you enjoyed. And I will catch you guys in my next video if you have any recommendations down below for either things to buy or, you know, videos you want to see, just let me know. I love to hear from you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye!